He'll make you pay if you throw his way too often. It's the Rams and the Ravens next on Madden Football. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you... Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Ravens offense set to go to work. And it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in the pit store for him today. But partner, this offense 12 and 0 now on the year following their latest victory and. During the week, a lot of folks making comparisons between this squad and the 1985 Bears. You know, they too were 12-0 at this juncture of the season before losing on a Monday night, 38-24 to the Dolphins at the Orange Bowl way back on December 2nd of 85. But then they never lose again en route to winning Super Bowl 20. And when you look back on it, partner, didn't it almost feel like a setup game? Because they were playing the Dolphins, and the Dolphins were protecting their franchises undefeated season of 1972 that team and you know what that team does they love to celebrate the fact that they still are the only one to get through an entire nfl season that way that was dan reno's third year playing under the great don shul and they were motivated to keep that franchise's record intact now meanwhile a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete he was looking for his tight end mark andrews there but it'll be second down you talk about this Rams defense against the pass. They're hoping to trend in the opposite direction because right now they're ranked number 26 in the NFL. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. That one covers 29 yards. First down. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Flushed out right. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it, and a play. Now he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Dante Fowler, he's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll get it in the hands of Beckham. And some room to work. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Touchdown! Isaiah Likely. His second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And he will get in to make it 8-0. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going 
for two to go up 8-0. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Stafford. Across the middle, he finds Robinson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. It's a gain of seven. That brings up second and three. At the 43 yard And they'll send Cup in motion right. They'll fake the jet sweep, but instead of give up the middle to Williams. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Here's Stafford. He's got a first and maybe more. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup, 57 yards. And the Rams have come back to make it a two-point game. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And this is now a one-point game. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. The Ravens heading out on offense as we look at the playoff picture in the AFC. Play action. It's Jackson. A looking deep here for Flowers. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. You talk about this Rams defense. They enter play ranked eighth against the run in the NFL. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator because I said to you, stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> How about him saying, well, first order of business, we got to stop the run. Of course you do. He's got a good unit, but facing the number one rushing team, they have to stop that in order to have a good performance. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. Well, just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. A gain of four yards. They go play action with Jackson. Steps away. They get five out of the scrum and hit second down. It's a gain of five. Jackson. He finds the rookie, Zay Flowers. Now Jackson. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. They're going with Beckham on the end around. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And five goes just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down, and this one incomplete as well. But they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. A well designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And they'll start the drive here with an end around. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 28 yards. Well, now they'll try the end around. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. But not a big gain with that play. But what they're doing is they're spreading the defense out, probing a little bit, and what they're hoping probably is that later in the game, they can create a matchup that they can exploit for big yardage later. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Mark that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there. Jackson and the Ravens still on the field. They'll go for two. And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And he will get into the end zone. And it's now a two-score game as the lead moves to nine. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense. That's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. They'll have good field position at midfield following the turnover as they start with the first down here. 
So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Meanwhile, Jackson throws on target to Likely. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Oh, look at this play call. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute morning. 11 yards on the pickup, and that'll be good for Baltimore first. Jackson now. He'll buy some time right. And they will get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Eluding the... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Ravens first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Huntley off of play action, sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Patrick Ricard, a 20-yard touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. And he shows some mobility there, getting outside the tackles, moving to the right, making a nice play. He had the whole field in front of him and was able to actually throw it about where he was looking, right? And he's, like he said he moved to the right, had his vision there, and put a nice pass into the end zone for a touchdown. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Up the middle, that's Williams. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. And with that time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This is fielded at the 27. 
So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And they do have terrific starting field position, but no timeouts to work with, so they'll need to operate quickly. A short one there, caught by Likely. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Here's Huntley. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. What a razzle-dazzle by OBJ. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. chance of either being a big gain or a big loss but with the college influence we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL oh design run for their wide out and this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half so we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top as we'll get you down the... Well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting antsy, so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Here's second and three. Stafford. Over the middle, complete. That's Robinson. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Stafford. A quick throw there is incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Second and ten. To the air again, Stafford. Got his man, it's Williams. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Well, they certainly have their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. On second down, Williams. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb and they'll get him down up past the 15 
That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Odell Beckham Jr. How about this? Odell Beckham. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half that's getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And make them four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Here comes third down and seven. Now it's Stafford. He's got Higby complete right side. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To throw is Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 41, this is second and a yard. At the 41 yard line. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Baltimore. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and ten at the 47. Now Stafford. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. Again, it's Stafford. throw here is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And this one is incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, we are in the midst of a very one-sided affair. I think this is where you and I have to fill a little bit. You want to regale us with old stories of your childhood in New Falls, New York? <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to hear that, but 
this is a perfect time for us to start listing MVP candidates, right? right. The best teams we've seen so far this year, the best games that we've called thus far, how we anticipate the season unfolding. We can go in so many different directions because <laughs> the game certainly not taking us there. Oh, I hear the remotes clicking off right now. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And they'll go on the ground. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. Well, Barton, if we had their entire playbook in front of us, I'm not sure we would have picked out that play as the one to run in that situation. How about the guts of the offensive coordinator? Dialing that one up into great success. The throw over the middle, taken in. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And they're going to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Finds his man over the middle, it's likely. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's Jackson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. They'll set up a throw. And to him a sack sack back at the nine yard line now from the nine here's second and goal jackson from the shotgun and he'll be taken down after a game of about eight as that will lead us to the two-minute warning he turned that into a nice game gets him eight yards closer for third down so it's Raven football here as we welcome you back third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. And I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Jackson and the Ravens still on the field. They'll go for two. And they'll try a little razzle-dazzle. And they're a perfect five for five now on two-point conversions as he is in to get them two more. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Stafford. Pressure too much. Down he goes. 
Jadevian Clowney has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fielded at the 33. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. That's caught. It's Flowers. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. They go play action with Jackson. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Now a second and 10. To throw is Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. But right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And they'll run it here. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Well, when we go back to our conversation with the defensive coordinator, that type of a play is not a surprise to him. He expected trickery in this game, yet somehow, his defense, they still took the cheese and got caught in the mousetrap. Play action. It's Jackson. That's into the hands of Edwards. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Second and a couple. Throwing is Jackson. That's complete right around the eight. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. But I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind. This afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, 